previously on The Bill. You know, nothing happened. He wanted it to. I don't want to know whatever lies you're telling your wife. I'm not telling her lies. Well, I'm actually a cop on myself. I start at Sun Hill tomorrow. We're going to have a baby. We're going to be a family. Forty minutes late, that's all. What? Did I say anything? You know, Bauer might have found out we're onto him. No, he hasn't. Well, you know, maybe your snout got it wrong. Happens. Here we go. Yeah, go. It's Danny. Yeah, he's on. John Bauer has just arrived. Is Diaz McAllister on away? No, no, no. Debbie's not free after all. Do you want uniform back up? All right, well, take it easy, Danny. I know how much you want this, but go slow, yeah? Hi, this is Debbie. Leave a message after the beep. Debbie, it's Jack. Where the hell are you? You got a warrant? I thought you had it. You're having me on. Of course I am. Will you stop stressing? When he comes out, we're going fast, yeah? Well, I would never have thought of that. That is amazing. Mr. Bauer, we've got a warrant to search these premises. This ain't my place, though, Blood. We've left something there, haven't you? <laughs> you got anything to say about this? Not really, no. Why should I have? We saw you carrying this package into your flat earlier. Well, you know what? There's an extremely good reason for that. Really? Yeah, really. Go on, open it up and take a look, girl. I find the red ones are my particular favourites. I never knew you had such a sweet tooth. Can't arrest me for it, though, can you? You shouldn't believe everything you hear, Officer Glaze. I don't do drugs. Never have and I never will. No, but you wreck kids' lives in other ways, don't you? I bought him a packet of sweets. There's hardly wrecking his life. Maybe his teeth, though, eh, hey, Davey? We're going. Oh, Officer Glaze? Yeah? You have him. Might cheer you up a little bit. without being his tour guide, that's all. He's really nice, Link. Yeah. Yeah, of course he is. How long have you known him? Oh, ten minutes? And five of those you thought he was a flasher. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all right. You didn't sleep very well last night, did you? No. Look, are you sure you're okay about this? I mean, I know it's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, of course I am. Honest. You, me, and the baby. It's exactly how it should be. So, how are you today? Yeah, fine, thanks. Really don't look it. How was last night? That is between me and Kerry. Come on, Luke. You look awful. I might be able to help you. Mm. Yeah, you can, actually. Leave me alone, please. Come on, Cameron, let's go. Sick of giving you a hassle? Uh, nothing I can't handle. Hey, I lucked out getting paired with you. Kerry says you'll look after me. Yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, you struck gold there. She's a top woman. Yeah, she is, thanks. Good luck. Cheers. Oi! Problems? No. Really? Really? Good. Because we've got enough on today. Open day. We. You realise the place will get trashed? Yeah, of course it will, but it's what Adam wants. So we'll be really good soldiers and behave. Um, who's volunteered? 
Uh, most of them, actually. Oh, that's a turn-up. Uh, Des is confined to the cells. Uh, Kerry is on the welcoming committee. Oh, that's a good idea. And what about the mounted police? Oh, they'll be here around 10, and uh, the dog unit. Oh, are we going to have a display? No, they've got a raid on, so there's only one dog. <laughs> we drive around a bit more? Just gives me a feel for the patch. Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Hold on. Oi! You two! Come on! We'll never catch him! Wait there, yeah? I told you we didn't stand a chance. I had one of them. Yeah, hardly. Oh, great. Aren't we going to look for him? Oh, what's the point? He's gone. All right, that's your camp. That's it. I can explain. Why are we here? We might still catch him out. Danny, do the words straws and Clutching mean anything to you? Bowers got kids to commit over 20 burglaries for him in the past month. And, and that's, that's just... just the ones we know about, Danny. Yeah, I know. You told me. I know all about the ones he's hospitalised. Yeah, it? yeah, all right. Maybe I should just shut up. Yeah. Mm. Oi! Hey, what? Security consultancy. Well, yeah, actually. You robbed an arcade machine. That's theft. It's not theft. I always give the money back. Oh, come off. No, it. think about it. The only way I can convince the arcade owners is to rob them. And then I go back, hand over the money, and offer to fix the machine so they can't be done again. So it's blackmail, then? At least I'm not robbing. This way, I make money. I'm not going to get put away for it. And, well, anyway, I don't charge much. You are not falling for this. So who are the guys that attacked you? Nobody's. He was just trying to lift the money, that's all. Let's just take him in. Uh, hold on. If he's telling the truth, then he can prove it, right? I said I could, didn't I? I'm sorry, Gov. That snap is usually solid. So Bauer's not moving into drugs? No, he's stuck at basic scum level. General thieving and extortion. They've been playing you for a fool. Well, it looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Listen, I'll get some more leads. Keep handing them something to come up. Now, I'll need to go back onto the Lantern Road burglaries. What's the month ago? Still haven't sold them, though, have we? Wasn't a DS McAllister handling that, Gov? She was, why? Oh, she might be onto something new. Where is she, anyway? She'll be back soon. When? Later. What is it with you two today, anyway? Just get on with it, will you? You're right, Gov. Look knackered. I didn't get much sleep last night, that's all. Sounds promising. Lantern Road burglars, Eva, all right. Gav! He'll be a good customer. Lots of machines to protect. Unbelievable. It makes sense, can't you see that? No, no, not really. Arcades is a really scuzzy industry. He's getting ripped off every which way. Me? I'm like a drink in the desert. A lifeboat when he's drowning. A wave on the Yeah, ocean. yeah, all right. Excuse me, this might be a client. He is still a thief. We can't arrest him. The owner's not pressing charges. Can you give me a lift? But we're the police, not a taxi service. Please, it's really important. Nah, might as well. What? Now nah, look, lighten up. So, where are we dropping you then? All right. Bye-bye. Oh. This might be useful. It's the uh, Tansley Estate. I know it's a different patch, but it's a similar pattern. Six burglaries in one night, and it all goes quiet. Liaise with Barton Street. Come on. So where's Eva? Don't know, Gov. Sorry about earlier, the bow thing just got to me. Gov, said I'm sorry about earlier? Well, obviously, 
Sarge thinks that my PR skills are better suited to the area car. You want to watch yourself with all them kids jumping over you? What? Well, you don't want the rumours starting up again, do you? Come on, Des, that's enough. What's that all about, lads? No, oh, it's nothing. It's just Des getting his wooden spoon out. You know. Have you got enough, Des? Yes, thanks. Oh, Eva? Have you met Cameron? Ah, oh, hi. Eva shot. Hey, not that bad, am I? Probably. Got me trick. Oi! Get enough of that at home. The last time I had an open day, because you nicked your helmet, didn't I, Rich? Yeah, that's right. They ran off with it. I managed to get it back, though. Turned up in this place, covered in scraps from here. Curry, wouldn't it? This, that's what we had. Cameron. You got a shout. Leonard Styles. Told you you were too soft on him. What's he done? Gang beat up a kid. He's on his way to St Hughes. Leonard was in the thick of it. We only just left him. Yeah, Camford Street, right near the shopping precinct. That's where the attack happened. Good idea, that new boy. Giving him a lift to the clan. Sorry, Luke, I should have listened. Hey, Skippy. Just one piece of advice. We usually arrest the villains over here. Thanks, I'll bear that in mind. Only leads on this gang, Luke? Uh, not really. Just a kid called Leonard, a couple of others, my older bloke. What I say about this older bloke? Oh, nothing really. Early 20s, white, that's about it. That sounds like something I'm working on. Coming with you. Bye. Yeah. Hey, don't think about shipping in. <laughs> right. Morning, go. Afternoon, my like. you lace. Where have you been? You know where I've been. It was you who told me to take some time. Well, I've been calling you all morning. Sorry, I didn't realise it wasn't on. My office. Is something wrong? Now, you told me you'd had enough. You needed some sleep. So I agreed to look after Andrew for you for the night, yes? Yeah. What's the problem? Well, I didn't stay up all night with your kids so you could go off gallivanting with some pretty boy. What? Oh, come on, Debbie, don't play games with me. I saw him drop you off. That's my cousin. Oh, oh, you always embrace your cousin like that, do you? Well, not that it's any of your business, but yes. Yes, I do. Is that all? Because I'd like to get on. So, are you going to ask about your son? What's wrong with him? Nothing. I dropped him off with the child miners. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? I told the others you're on a job. It's very sweet of you, Jack. Thanks. He's probably in a board meeting. Open the door! Shh, you wake Gen up. Wake who? Gen This is my grandfather, I live with him. Albert Stars? What's this about? PC Tate, Mr. Stars. Look, I'm very sorry about this, but we need to speak to Leonard about an attack on a boy. It wasn't me. Huh. We better come in. Okay, right, there's a 13 year old boy in hospital. Needs stitches and his arm's badly broken. You were there. I didn't attack no one. Okay, but it wasn't me. I couldn't do it. Look at me. Leonard, whatever you've done, I'll stand by you, but you have to tell them the truth. I am. Witnesses say there were two youths and an older man. Tell me about them. I can't. They'll kill me. Leonard, come on. You're in big trouble. You need to tell us. That lot that was at me earlier, it was them. So one minute they're beating you up, the next minute you're part of their gang? No, I'm not, but they were trying to make me. Why would anyone want you to be in their gang? Luke? And how about my business? I can clear two grand a day from machines. They want me to stop giving it back. And give it to them. So who got attacked then? Just some kid. They beat him up and made me watch. They said I'll get it next if I didn't do as they say. Look, please, if they find out I'm talking to you, I'm dead. He's already conned us work. Come off it, the kid is petrified. Luke? Have you got a moment? No, sorry. Actually, why don't you stay and speak to Sergeant Gilman? No, cause I was just gonna no, go... No, it's to... okay. Eva and I can cope. My office might be better. about earlier nothing look please I need to know that you're all right yeah I'm fine can I go no you can't look, there's nothing to tell I didn't speak to Kerry last night and why not you have to face up to this Luke for Kerry's sake as much as for yours this is for Kerry's sake you're gay Luke 
You can't hide what you are forever. No, no. So Luke Ashton is a happily married man, is he? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> See, you don't understand. Because none of this matters anymore. Carrie's pregnant. We're gonna have a baby. So one is bigger than the other, and they live somewhere in Sun Hill. I think so. Does that help? Um, not much. Now, what about this bloke in charge? Dunno. He was a scary one. W what do you mean, scary? It's all right, Lenin. Tell them. He was the one making them do it. That's them. That's the younger ones. Great. You know them? Yeah, just a bit. Now, what about this bloke in charge? Tell me about him. He was the one better than the kid. Yeah, I know that. But just think hard, Leonard. Did either of these two mention a name at all? Yeah. Yeah, one of them called him John. John. Leonard, I think you're about to make someone I work with very happy. You wait there. All right, Sarge. Had a relaxing morning. Yes, thank you, Eva. Nice of you to ask. Great news on Bower. Right. <sighs> Danny. Yes. Got Bower. You what? Trying to turn a youth called Leonard Styles. He beat someone up in front of him as a warning. You mean he got the Foster brothers to do it for him? No, no, he did it himself. And we got a witness. He's in CSU, so I'll pass him. Hold on, Eva. I'll go. And that's just mad. He trusts me. So what's this? He was got as our key to Bower. Yeah, a witness saw Bower beating up a kid. Is he solid? Yeah, he's terrified, but he seems pretty sad. Right, well, what are you waiting for? Well, I thought I'd go instead of Eva. I've been working on the Bower case as well. No, that doesn't make sense. Eva knows him. You totally undermined me. Well, it serves you right. You missed the obo. Oh. <laughs> I'm in charge here, Debbie. Don't forget that. My decision's final. And this guy, John, was definitely giving the orders, yeah? Yeah, he was the one that brought the kids on. Deliberately? How? It's important that you tell us, Leonard. He made one of them hold the arm. And then he smashed it. What with? A metal bar. He said I'd get worse. <sighs> he's slipping. What do you mean? Up to now, he's got the Foster brothers to do everything solo, which means we can't even get close. No witnesses, nothing. You can get them off your back, Leonard. Help us put him inside. What's my return? Oh, Leonard, please. What's he on about? Leonard's a businessman. He wants to know what he gets for helping. How about we stop your legs being broken? I'll stop doing it. I'll leave the arcades, get a job at a checkout or something. Oh, Leonard, think about it. This man has found out that you are very, very useful to him. He's hardly going to let you go that easy now, is he? You're free to go, Leonard. But you'll get me. You won't be able to once we've arrested him, will you? You can stay here until we get him sorted, if you like. It won't be long. I think I'd prefer that. Leonard? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Huh? Will you be all right if I go? I left me inhaler at home. Yeah, I'll be fine. Sorry. Be back later. Danny. This young lad's witness to an assault. Is it all right if he stays in the station until we've got the witness? Yeah, of course. Luke, you can stay with him. Cameron, do you want to help out in the arrest? Yeah. Why, why him? Why do I have to stay? Stop whining and do as you're told. Right, no excuses. Oh, that you don't want to know. I think I do, Sergeant. Come on. <laughs> what about the brother that's grim? Uh, Bower will do for now. Besides, there's nobody without him. Look at him, he's pathetic. Pathetic, but vicious. You ready? Let's go. Your time will come. I'm looking forward to it. Did you lot want him? Well, you two are coming with me to the station. What for? 
Nothing new. Violent assault on a juvenile, and this time we've got a witness. Who's that then? A friend of mine. <laughs> hey! They say they got a witness to an attack. What do you reckon? No way, John. No way. <laughs> Come in, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. Sure you don't want to say goodbye to your friends? It might be a while before you see them again. In fact, they might even be out of nappies. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be that long. We'll see. Ah, Leonard. We're going to need you out of sight while Bear was booked in. All right. Cheers. Yep, Danny, it's all clear. He knows it's me, doesn't he? Um, probably, yeah. He's gonna get me. And how's he gonna do that? You don't know John Bow. Yes, we do, and that is the whole point. Now we've got him in custody, your evidence is gonna put him away. Promise? Yeah, promise. Have you thought what that means? Of course I have. If Kerry's pregnant, it makes what he's doing even worse. She's got a right to know how confused he is. And what gives you the right to wreck her life? I'm not wrecking her life, Lucas. You still want him, don't you? That's got nothing to do with this. Yes, it has. This isn't about Luke or Kerry. This is all about you. I'm sorry, but they are living a lie. Are you sure about that? Luke is gay. But he still managed to get her pregnant. That means nothing. Lots of gay men get married and have kids, but they're making exactly the same mistake as Luke. They are too scared to come out. But that's his choice, not yours. Now stop interfering and stay away. That's an order. Do you understand me? She's a natural, isn't she? He told you. He had no right. Well, you don't look exactly overjoyed. It's just a lot to think about, that's all. Wait, you can't just drift into this because you're frightened of upsetting her. I'm not. This is it, Luke. Your life. Now, I'm not judging you, but time is running out. Stop letting things just happen to you. Decide who you are, make a choice, and live with it. She's so happy. Well, you made her happy, Luke. Yeah. Yeah, I did. The thing is, are you? Be honest with yourself. Kerry's tough. She won't want this baby either, if it's not right. Hello, you two. Welcome to Sun Hill. Hello. Is my man here? I don't know. What does she look like? No, she works here. Eva Sharp. Yeah, my husband, Paul. Oh, hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Um, I can't say I've seen her. Uh, Luke, have you seen Eva? This is her husband, Paul. Hi. Okay. Uh, no, but I'll get a message to her. Tell her you're here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. Right, come on, you two. Let's uh, see if that police dog bites, eh? <laughs> They're gorgeous, aren't they? See, Eva manages all right with work and everything. I was thinking maybe I should have a chat with her. What do you think? Or with Sergeant McAllister? Yeah, I, I, I'd better go, yeah? Oh, all right. I'll chat to you later. Hey, Cameron. How did your first shift go? Did uh, Luke look after you all right? Yeah, of course he did. He's great, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, uh, did you tell him about the baby? I didn't like to say anything in case you had... No, no, it's all right. I told him last night. He was a bit overwhelmed, but I think your champagne helped calm his nerves. But he's pleased, though. Yeah, of course he is. He didn't sleep. He was so excited. Oh, great. But you must be excited, too. Mm, just a bit. <laughs> so you reckon you were nowhere near Camford Street? How many more times? As many as it takes. I was nowhere near Camford Street earlier today, officer. So what about our witness? You ain't got no witness. Oh, we have, Mr. Bauer. And they're very reliable. I wouldn't count on it. You sure you don't want a solicitor? Nah. I don't think I need one. Do you? So... What are you thinking? Same as you. He reckons he can get to Lennon, doesn't he? 
No, can't keep him safe here till the trial. Could be months. Better talk to the DCI, see if he's got any ideas. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Eva, your husband and kids are here. What is it? Is it that time Listen, already? go and say hello. I'll deal with Bowen and I'll talk to the DCI, yeah? Yeah, OK. Oh, thanks, Danny. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Debbie's still got my picture. Is that right? Yeah, it's up your by your desk, isn't it? Yep, still on the notice board. Mum says he's got a baby now. That's right, I have. Mummy! Oh, hello, Sammy! You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder where you got to. Oh, sorry, have I been long? No, no, it's all right. Are you uh, going to show us around then? Mum, can I go on that? Oh. Oh. You got your hands full there, Tony? Guy, death. <laughs> Turn it off, mate. Have you let him go? No, don't panic. He's safe in custody. You OK? Yeah, a bit bored. Well, you're better off staying here anyway, for the time being. Eva, tell him he needs to loo. You can oh, take him. Sorry, Paul, I've just nipped out for a minute. I've got an interview to finish off, so... Eva, you said you'd show us around. That was I the whole know, point of coming to loo. I know, and I'm sorry, OK? I won't be long. Honest. All right, darling. I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> Which way's the loo? The loo's that way. OK, sit tight. Come on, trouble. Now, Joanna, you stay here and be nice to Leonard, OK? And stay right here until Daddy comes back. Good girl. Cheers, Tom. Finish interviewing Bar, then get over to the grandfathers. Thanks, Gough. That's brilliant. Well, we've still got to persuade him and Leonard to stay with the relatives. I'll have a chat with witness protection. See if we can sort out some sort of liaison before the trial. Gough. Is Dears McCaster around, sir? No, she's not. Uh, that's for her. All right, well, leave them with me and uh, I'll see if she gets them. And what about the handcuffs? Well, we'll be that one more time. What? Can I try your handcuffs on? What's that all about? I can tell you're a newlywed. Meaning? Meaning that you're just married and you're not sick of the street stuff yet. Come on, go and find your mother, now. Is that the friendly face of policing, then? It is with those little blades. I can't stand them. I'll oh, cover this, all right? Oh, I get it. On it, you're already, you see. Listen, you've already fallen for the marriage sketch. Don't make it a double whammy. Oh, it's here up, Luke. Do you want a drink? Canteen shot. Yeah, but the machine's not, though. Where are you going with all that chocolate? Your mother must be a soft touch. And don't go throwing up on my cells, do you hear? So, are you ready to talk yet? What about? Well, a confession would be nice, but I'd be happy to talk about GBH on a juvenile. You know, the one we've got a witness for, remember? He ain't got no witness. He's making it up. So our witness is a him, is it? Of course it is. It's fat boy Leonard and he's lying. I can't trust anything that boy says. I can't confirm or deny who our witness is, Mr. Bow. But they're not lying about the 14-year-old you put in hospital. For that alone, you'll get two years. Leonard's very easily led Officer Glaze. He'll say anything you want him to say till he starts to think about what it means. I think you've underestimated our witness, don't you, Eva? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You see, they're going on a little holiday, which means that you won't be able to um, persuade them not to testify. As I said, Mr. Bow, I think this time we've got you. <laughs> Who do you reckon did it? Kids always happens on opening day. They say it's a challenge. What's this? Usual fun and games. You got the culprits? Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're too busy showing them around. Oh, Malcolm, behave, otherwise he won't be going anywhere. Was she hit me first? Yes, 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 I've heard it all before. Are you enjoying seeing where Daddy works, eh? Not really. They wanted to go swimming. Oh. Right. I'm going to whiz around with them, say hello. You all right sorting the toilets? Of course. Yeah, you go. Go on. Come on, kids, this way. I want to go swimming. You won't be going anywhere. You'll be going straight home. What about those two? They could have done the gents. No, they just come in. You can either say... You all right? No. Sorry. Can you just... Excuse me for a few minutes. Gina, are you okay? Serves <laughs> me right. Shouldn't tell you to hide your feelings at work, should I? Look, 
What's this about? Nothing. Look. Come on. Let's get back to work. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Is it... Is it to do with seeing everyone with their kids? I'm sorry. I didn't realise you wanted them that badly. It's not every kid that bothers me. Me and Adam used to be together nice years ago now. I didn't know. But it's not something you want the relief gossiping about, is it? Look, it's none of my business, but... Did he finish with you? Because you couldn't have his kids? I wasn't like that. I finished it. And he let you? Well, he didn't know. Not then, anyway. He would have just said he didn't mind. But if he loved you, it shouldn't have mattered. But it did matter. He was meant to have a family, I knew that. Yeah, but still. No, Craig, no, 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 no. That's what love is. Loving someone so much, you do what's best for them. Even if it means you lose them. <sighs> Come on, toilets. I'll be glad when we get this place back to normal. I hate not being in control. You know, I'd never have guessed, huh? <laughs> What's she up to? Oh, no good, that's for sure. <sighs> what have we here? Corrupting a juvenile, stealing from a police station. It's only a habit. I was going to give it back. I beg your pardon. It passes the time. I think you need to find another hobby, don't you? I'll leave Joanna to you. I think she knows what she did was wrong, don't you? Joanna? I'm really sorry. What? I'm really sorry. I should hope so. Right, and as for you, I found a perfect way for you to make amends. You can't lock me out. I'll get asthma. Oh, this is far worse than being locked up. I've got a mop and bucket for you. Come on. And I don't know what you're crying for, madam, because I haven't even started with you yet. So, how much did she get? Ten quid and fifty pence pieces. It's not funny. Oh, come on. She's hardly a master criminal. And it shows she's got a bit of spark. Don't know where she gets that from. <laughs> at least now she listens when I yell at her. Wait till she's a teenager. Mm. Oh, you're still lucky, though, you know. That's when super cops getting broody. Nah, it's just seeing you with your two. Must be good to have something to go home to. Yes, dirty washing, noise and growing with Paul, mostly. You two all right, aren't you? Yeah, we're sound enough. Just don't get to spend a lot of time together. Today you were supposed to be about that. Well, it won't take long to talk to the grandfather. Yeah, well, I hope not. Because Paul's not already, and I'd better try and be nice to Joanna when I get back. I think I scared her half to death. Is that what you're looking for? It's a pretty close family you got there. Can't say I've got a cousin I feel that way about. Oh, so what? I can't have a private life anymore. Not when I'm conned into looking after your baby. You only did that so you could get me into bed. You what? Oh, come on. A DCI? Babysitting for a DS? You really thought I might fancy you, didn't you? You're pathetic. And you're manipulative. You know, I thought having a baby would change you, Debbie, but you're still the same, aren't you? Meaning? You're still the ice queen. And you don't take rejection very well, do you, sir? You use people for your own ends. You'd stab somebody in the back to get your own way. And you're just like the rest of them. A sad little man with a midlife crisis. I don't care what you think anymore. From now on, this relationship is strictly professional. Hey, Luke, you gonna get some work done today? Hey, empty head. Wait, uh, haven't seen my little girl, have you? 
No, why have you lost her? I'm not sure. She had a bit of a telling off, so she might be sulking somewhere. She's not in the cells. Well, if you're sick, could you give me a shout? Yeah, of course you will. Don't worry about her. Yes. Rather him than me. Well, that's good. I didn't think the old man had agreed that readily. He was almost relieved, wasn't he? Listen, you've got the address. I'll go and find Leonard and take him round here now. There you go. You OK, babe? Uh, it's Joanna. I can't find her anywhere. Oh, well, I should be here somewhere. Have you tried a mobile? Uh, no answer. Well, she was pretty upset after you spoke to her earlier. Oh, Paul, she was stealing. Of course I told her off. Uh, sorry, Inspector Gold wants both of you. Can't it wait? No, no, it's urgent. She wanted you and Danny straight away. The kid's been attacked in the gents' toilets. It's not our little girl, is it? Who did it? Don't know, he won't say. Leonard, who did this to you? Was it the Foster Brothers? Come on, Leonard, please, we need to know. You said I'd be safe. Come on, let's see if there's anything on the CCTV. Come on, come out of the way and let him get through. Stop. I'll say a minute. Yeah. yeah. I saw them earlier, I thought they'd be having oddly. So why don't you throw them out then? Well, it's a public event. They're the very people we're supposed to be welcoming with open arms. Who are they? Liam and Neil Foster. Their baby henchman for Bauer. That's the bloke we got in custody. And the witness who's keeping him here was the boy who was attacked. Yeah. Nice work. Hey, it's not our fault. I should have known they'd come after Leonard. Well, what about Joanna? She was with Leonard earlier. We'll find her in a few minutes. No, but what if Joanna saw the attack? And they might have seen her watching. He's right. Let's not jump to conclusions. Danny, take Cameron again and bring in the Foster boys. Oh. Do what you have to do with the little runts. But after you've talked about Joanna, all right? They won't have taken her. Wouldn't they? I'll call once I've got them. Hold on, I'm coming with you. You're better off staying here. I'm going. We don't know if they've got anything to do with Joanna. It's too much of a coincidence. You keep looking for her here. Please. Danny, keep your eye on her, will you? Go. Teaching him what it's like to be a master criminal. Yeah, come on. Enjoy that. I'll get you later. Might save him from a life of crime, Reggie, babe. Oh, yeah. Look, have you seen a little girl? I've seen loads of them round here. That's nah, Eva's daughter. We've lost her. Yeah, uh, she was round here a while ago. How long ago? About an hour. And you haven't seen her since? I've just told you I haven't seen her since. Yeah, any joy? No. Where's Luke? Well, I've got him under the thumb already, have you? Have you searched everywhere? I've just been around the yard twice. It's pretty busy, but she's definitely not out there. Oh. Try up and see I do. Uh, yeah, we'll do that now. Oh, she has to be somewhere. Ooh, another victim. Inside! Now! Move them in her! Just get in there! I don't know where they are! Why would I? Because you're one of Barra's pathetic little army now, aren't you, Davey? No, I don't belong to no one. Don't you make me laugh! Barra don't do drugs, but you do. It's personal use. You can't get me on that. You want a bet? Come on, it ain't worth your time. And you listen to me. It is, unless you tell me right now where the Foster Brothers are hiding. Don't know. They're flat. The estate. No, not good enough. Cameron. David Swales, I'm arresting you. Oh, 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 oh. I told you you forget the house, yeah? You just tell us. If they're trying to avoid you, they'll be down by the canal. Brunel Lane! Leave him! Keep us! You alright there, son? Daddy, I'm mm. to sleep. Do you? Alright, we'll get you some to have a look at. Have you looked in every room? Yes, Mum. Even under the desks, there's no sign at all. Okay, Reg, I need you to check the rest of the CCTV footage and uh, see what's the last of her you can find. Mom. Kerry, I need you to check the first floor again. Mum. <gasps> Debbie. I've just heard. Is there any news? Eva's out at Danny at the moment. They're trying to track down the Foster brothers. You know Paul? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, she can't have gone that far. I, mean, uh, mm. I don't like the look of this. No, neither do I. Unless Joanna's actively hiding. Yeah. She's not here, I'm is she? Sure we could work out something. You're right, do you want to talk or anything? That's got to be it. Even slow down, we should get back up. I am not waiting ten minutes for the cavalry. My little girl could be in there. Listen, let's just watch for a minute. Danny, I... All right, all right, all right. 
Look, if Joanna's in there, we need to surprise him, not sound a warning bell. Yeah, okay. Come on, then. Okay. You go around the back. Come on, come with me. This is police! Come on out, we know you're in there! Oh. Let him go, let him go. All right, all right. Let's all just try and calm down, yeah? It's not me who needs to calm down. Shut up, Liam. Stop making things worse. Where's Joanna? I don't know what she's on about. My little girl, Joanna. She's eight. She's gone missing from the police station. So? So what have you done with her? I haven't done nothing. I suppose you're going to tell me we're even there next, hey? Okay. Hey! Eva, leave it, leave it, leave it. You beat up Leonard Stiles, yeah? Is that what he's saying? He's too busy getting himself checked into St. Hughes to describe the finer points. Me... Eva, no. Okay. Okay. Well, where, where's Joanna? I don't know. She's your kid. She was hanging around with Leonard. Now he's in hospital and she's gone missing. It's nothing to do with me. Just like Leonard being beaten up was nothing to do with you. Look, maybe you should be a better mother then. Oi, no. A cute little thing like that. You want to keep a closer eye on her? No, Eva, Eva, no, not here, not here. And if he's got her... If he's got her, then we'll get her back. But we can't do it like this. Not with this lot watching. Agreed? Come on, Liam. I'm going to take you somewhere a little bit quieter. What? You arresting me? No, no. Different rules, mate. If you've hurt one of ours, then it's gloves off. Let's get him back to the car fast as we can. Go. Go. Move! <laughs> All right, there's nothing to see, yeah? On your way. What are we stopping in for? How you going? Out. I can't do this. It's not allowed. You're right. It's not. It doesn't mean it won't happen. You see, Liam? Now we've thrown away the rule book, only you can lose. This is a new kind of justice. An eye for an eye. Ah, you're bluffing. Are we? You'll lose your jobs. Who are they going to believe? Three coppers or you? Listen to me, Liam. I really like Leonard. Now, nothing would give me greater pleasure than putting you in a hospital bed next to him. I don't know nothing about your kid. So what were you on about then, about her being cute? Nothing. You know what she looks like. She saw you, didn't she? No, it weren't like that. So what was it like then? We were waiting to get Leonard on his own. She was with him for ages, that's all. So... So when you beat up Leonard, was she there? No. Come on, Liam, you saw her, didn't you? She was in the corridor when we came out after doing him. She didn't see nothing, though. And we never went near her. But she could have seen after you'd gone. No, she was going the other way. We passed her as we left. I would not a kid. Not a girl. Keep an eye, yeah. He's telling the truth. I oh, know. What the hell is she, Danny? Let's get you back to something, yeah? yeah. Gav. Nothing yet, Eva. What about mobile? Still not answering. Eva, come and have a look at this. Keep me informed, Gina. Right. See, that's not long after I left her. Where is it? I see corridor leading up the front reception. It doesn't mean she went out. Well, it might do. I mean, it matches what Liam Foster said, and he reckons she was heading that way too. Now, I want the search widened. We've already got officers outside. Eva, we're doing the best we can. I know, Mum, no, I don't... I don't want you to come down here, Mum. I'm just calling you to let you know that... Yeah, to, that we won't be home for tea. Yeah, I know, well, she can't have gone far, can she? No, Sammy is fine, he's having a little sleep. Yeah, I know. Look, I will call you the minute she gets back, OK? And what did those boys say? They saw her, but they didn't touch her. What, and you believe them? Eve, I, I just took my eyes off her for a second. Paul, this is not your fault. But she was standing right there, and I thought she cheered up. I bribed her, said she could have some of Gran's ginger cake. Don't you think she's doing this deliberately? 
to get back at me. No, don't, all right? Look, you did the right thing telling her off. This is Joanna we're talking about, right? And you know what she's like. She gets some strop, she goes off for a couple of minutes, and then comes bouncing back demanding sweets. Yeah. Look, I, I'm going to go and help look for her, okay? Well, we don't know the place. Yeah, well, neither does she. Do you have any friends nearby? Anyone she could have gone to? Um, no. I've, she's not at my mum's, and Paul's tried his mum's in Camford, and even if she was there, that's two mile away, so... Well, has Joanna ever done anything like this before? No. No, I mean, she's a proper madam, but she's never run off like this, never. Look, I can't just stand there. I'm going to go and help Paul look for you. This breaks all the rules. You don't say. You could lose us our jobs, let alone any chance we have of making a case against the Fosters. We haven't got a case. Leonard's not going to talk. Not now Bauer got the brothers to beat him up. Leonard's going to walk straight out of here and be forced in with Bauer. Is that what you want? No, of course it's not. But there is a way of doing things. Yeah, well, I've been doing things that way for three months now. It's been getting me nowhere. Oh. Where are you taking me? You'll see. You don't have to come. This is my call. What's this? You're about to find out. Inside. Well, go on. Is this the boy? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Come over here. Come away. Now, look at what you've done. They got him sedated because of the pain. Does it make you feel proud to see it? Does it make you feel like a man? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. It was him or me. It's what it's like out there. What are you saying, Liam? I have to do as he says. This is this power man, yes? So if you don't do as he wants, you get the beating? No. Not me, my brother Neil. I have no choice. There's always a choice. He's right, Liam. You help us put Bauer away. Get yourself out of this. No. No. He come after me. And my brother. No, he won't. Not with the list of offences you've got on him. We can organise protection. Yeah. But you said that's a Leonard too. Yeah, yeah, we screwed up. But we hadn't counted on you and your brother. This is different. Is this how you want to live your life, Liam? Beating up people. Less able than yourself. Of course it's not. Then be a man. Do the right thing. Well, it's over two hours now. Yeah, I know. How far out have you got, people? Only the immediate streets, but I'll widen it. Oh, any sign at the house? Um, no. I've got the neighbours keeping an eye out, but well, it's a very long wait for an eight-year-old to go by themselves. It's five miles, go. Yeah, well, thanks, Raj. It was worth checking. Anything? No. No, they do. They're okay. They're just trying not to think the worse. I hear you got Liam Foster to make a statement. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cameron's just helping him to settle in. I'm sure he'll go through with it. Well, that's something. We should get a bow if we can keep Liam on side. Kerry, let me see. Where was it? Is it hers? Yes, it's hers. Where did you find it? Around the front. It was caught up in some of the bushes by reception. Thanks, Kerry. Look, uh, Eva, don't panic. But I think we should make this official now. What does that mean? I don't know, Paul. Anything could have happened to her. Next time on The Bill. Hello, I'm Inspector Gina Gold from Sun Hill Police and I'm coordinating the search for Joanna Sharp. You, you shouldn't have found out Luke was gay. What do you mean he's gay? Get lost. Is this the arm of the girl you're looking for? Wait, mate, are you deaf or something?